Hey everyone, so I just want to show you uh, my uh, color sorter for my Lego automation system that I'm working on. So there's the uh, conveyor you, that you saw on the screen. There's the Lego bricks uh, ready to go into the camera using the Raspberry Pi 4. And those are the motor drivers, the H-bridges in the back to uh, control the 9-volt uh, motors. And so here I'm going to demonstrate a color sorter. All right, here we go. Forward job. Forward job. And so it's I have to uh, calibrate the uh, red here. So I'm going to use my color picker just to get the sweet spot of that red. The object is red. Okay, there you go. The object is red. All right, object's red. Okay, I'm gonna go the object is red. to the next color. Forward jog, the object is red. The object is orange. Now, as you can see here, the on, object my, is orange. on the uh, blocks, I'm not controlling the uh, the voice or the uh, colors. Only thing I'm controlling the object is, is the uh, the motor. So the object is orange. It's sensing the colors automatically, and I'm just do, I'm doing like a uh, a forward jog and a forward step and a reverse jog and a reverse step. So all I'm the doing is controlling is the conveyor, but I'm letting it using the video sensing the to sense the color. So we see that it's sensing orange. The object is orange. All right, let's go to the next step. one. The object is orange. The object is yellow. All right, let's get yellow. Let's see the, the object, object is yellow. There's one more. Forward step. The object is yellow. The object is green. Okay, it's got a green. The Forward object step. is green. The object is blue. All right. Forward step. The object is blue. The object is brown. Okay. Forward step. The object is brown. Oops. The object is white. Oh, okay. All right. I figured I was going to have to center Forward it a little job. bit further. The object is white. All right. The object is white. I'm still fix it up. Forward job. The object is white. All right, guys, so if you want to take a look at my code real quick, uh, this uh, part right here, turn on the video, set the transparency to zero. Um, now this go to zero to negative 20 on the X and Y coordinate. That is the location of the red sprite, the red bar sprite, which you see down here. So that red bar going back and forth, dithering, that is, uh, which is kind of sweeping back and forth, that is the a sprite it's called mine and I you know rotated you know, rotated it and made it smaller using these settings here um, these settings uh, even though I established to where I want the line to be at this just does the sweeping this does the uh, I'm going to 17 uh, uh, X coordinates over and then I'm coming back to zero uh, zero zero and then you get into the color where it says uh, um, if the sprite, the red bar, is touching red, the red brick, the red Lego brack background, if it's touching the Lego brick that's red, then it'll um, say, this, this just uh, sets the voice. And this is actually uh, the text-to-speech. So when the red bar is touching the red Lego brick, it will say the object is red. And so on with the orange. If the sprite or red bar is touching the orange uh, Lego brick, then set the voice, uh, um, this, this type of voice, the tenor, which is the male voice, and then it sets, and then it says the object is orange. And so on with orange, yellow, green, blue, brown, white. Um, so, and for the, uh, just the, uh, motor controller for the GPIO, 
I'm just um, using the uh, GPIO uh, feature that it has. Um, it'll say forward jog and then it'll set the GPIO pin uh, 15 in this case for high, run for 0 0.06 seconds, and then set the pin back to low. And it does the same thing for, uh, uh, and that's when I uh, push, when I type on my keyboard um, in number one. Uh, here on number two, uh, when I push number two, it'll say forward step instead of forward jog, which is a is a full uh, step with the motor, which is just turning on and off. And that's a 0.1 second delay. So it goes, uh, it turns on uh, the same pin high, but for 0.1 seconds instead of 0 0.06 seconds. So it's a longer it's a longer run time. And then it sets back to low and. Let me uh, go further down. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, so this is uh, when I press three, this is reverse jog. It'll say reverse jog. And then I'll set pin 18 instead of 15 to 0 0.0 seconds. So it'll, it'll go the opposite direction for that same speed for a half step or reverse jog. And then it'll set the, the pin back to low. And finally, uh, when I type in Four on my keyboard, it'll set the voice, it'll say reverse step, it'll say uh, set GPIO pin 18 to high, and then 0.1 seconds run, and then turn it back to low, that pin 18 back to low. So these are all controlled with using the keyboard on one, two, three, four, and this is automatically set. This all automatically runs when I hit the green flag when I run the program. So then it's just sensing on its own of whatever Lego brick that comes within the uh, the uh, sprite bar or um, this the, the line or sprite in this case and so you see it dithering back and forth just to give it a little bit more range to, to detect the the uh, color uh, so you have to play with the, uh, uh, c the color sometimes I, I use the color picker um, which is right here and you can actually uh, find the color um, that you want want the uh, sprite to pick up. So that's it, guys. Um, so I'm going to call it a night, and I'll dream up some more automation uh, stuff that I'm going to be working on my project here. It's ever expanding, getting bigger, and uh, so once I can sort the color Lego bricks, I can also sort the size just with uh, gravity conveyors, which will uh, have little pieces fall through, um, like a sifter, um, just like you have your, your spaghetti when you, you drain the water from your spaghetti. It'll uh, drain the smaller parts into one conveyor, and then the larger pieces will go on a separate conveyor. So, uh, which will be, if you see in the background there, on the blue and the red, uh, those are conveyors. They link up, that will be, uh, distributing, uh, moving my smaller pieces. And if you see down here, the orange conveyors all the way, that will be moving my larger pieces. All right, guys. So that's it for right now. Uh, more to demonstrate later, um, but I'm getting pretty tired. So, all right, guys, take it easy.